Aruba has been a country on my bucket list for quite some time now, so I was very excited to get to come and explore this beautiful, tiny, yet very windy Dutch Caribbean island. In these next couple of vlogs, I'm gonna be showing you guys around Aruba and what makes it so wonderful, so let's get this started. What is up guys? So today I'm excited to show you guys this vlog because we are doing something very exciting which I'm going to get into in a moment but I'm just getting ready right now doing my usual kind of beauty morning routine. I'm also very excited for today's vlog because I'm actually working with Frank Body and showing you guys some of their new coffee scrub which is the A Beauty coffee scrub. This is the original right here and I love this stuff. I think it works wonders but they just released their new A Beauty coffee scrub which is this guy right here and it has a lot of natural ingredients that are blended together which help brighten, hydrate, and smooth the skin. And their scrub features kakadu plum, which brightens the skin. And then the eucalyptus is what is antibacterial. The macadamia oil is to hydrate and coffee grounds to exfoliate and smooth the skin. Whenever I picture Australians, I always picture this like smooth, sun-kissed, glowing skin. So whatever they are doing, I am definitely in. Since I'm always on an airplane, right after traveling, my skin gets kind of dry and flaky when I get off the plane. Having a scrub, which helps fight that, is amazing. And after using it, my skin feels so incredibly soft and smooth. And I have a lot of scars just randomly all over my legs, so it actually helps to fade those. So if you guys want to get some of your own, I will leave it in the description down below so you guys can check that out. And let's get this day started. Good morning, guys. It is currently like 5.30, 6 a.m. And we've taken our Jeep over to the Renaissance Hotel to try and get tickets to their private island, which is also known as Flamingo Island. So we didn't know this before coming here, but... You know those beautiful photos you see in Aruba of people on the beach with flamingos? So it's actually owned by this lovely hotel right here and they only sell about 15, yes, 15 tickets um, to non-hotel guests. All right, so we managed to get tickets. We ended up coming here around like 5.50ish. It was almost six o'clock. Um, there was a really big group of a family in front of us of like 11 people. And so we kind of just made it, but you do need to come quite early. This is actually something I didn't even realize when I was coming to Aruba. I kind of thought the flamingos would be everywhere. They're actually only on one specific beach that's owned by this hotel. So just coordinate that, come to the Renaissance Hotel to get your ticket for the day. And then what's nice is you can come back whenever um, and use it up until like, I think they said 6 p.m. or something. And it also gives you lunch and a drink. So it is kind of expensive. It's like $99 or actually it's $125. Um, I think it's a bit more expensive during high season. So a little pricey, but you do get to see the flamingos and get some lunch. Here, we better have any tickets and we're ready to roll. at Flamingo Island. We don't see any flamingos yet. This is the little inlet area. Um, so you can go swimming and they have chairs. Also too, if you come here, I believe you get a towel um, as well. So if you do have kids, you are actually allowed to bring them from nine to 10 to Flamingo Beach. And then family friendly is the Iguana Beach, which is over that way, the place we just went. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, hi guys. Right, this is the area that you can get the flamingo food you put in 25 cents and then you can lure the birds to you. Sleeping. This one's fully just like right. laying well, down. We have, we have this one, his legs are bent in a very strange kind of configuration. These birds are super stoked with the food, and these ones are kind of over it right now. We just went for a swim, and we've basically been hanging out with the flamingos. It is so incredibly cool. If you guys get the chance to come to this beach, I highly recommend it because it is such a neat and unique experience. I've definitely never been on the beach with flamingos before and they're just so docile. What's nice too is they do limit the people that are allowed on the beach. It's not an overwhelming amount of people. We just ordered our food. This is the cocktail we got. Good portions. We are just leaving the island. We're gonna go catch the boat, um, go over to the other side. Back on the boat and back to the motherland. We have arrived 
arrived at our next activity of the day. We are on a Pelican Adventures catamaran and we're going to go do some snorkeling right now. Um, the water here is so blue so it's really cool to actually be on a boat out on the ocean and I absolutely love being on boats. I grew up boating and so I think it's always just like, I don't know, it's just nostalgic. First off, we went about 20 minutes to the Antilla shipwreck and we're going to go snorkeling and maybe do a bit of free diving to go and see it. So I guess during... World, World War II. I guess, can you just tell Okay, so during World War II, the Germans came to Aruba thinking that it was neutral land. It was not. Aruba is a Dutch-owned, Dutch-governed island. So Bo got shot down during World War II, and now we're going to go dive and see it. They actually sunk their own ship to prevent it. Capture in World War II. Okay, did you say that? Yes, you did. Oh, I was like, whoa, you're full of like extra facts. No, he said uh, I'm bad at relaying information. This is <laughs> Yeah, and listening. Apparently, I have a listening problem. <laughs> so intense it was like we were all like breathing in ocean water like coughing it up they also since i mentioned have open bar we're gonna try what is an aruba arriba um oh thank you no you can be in this thank you <laughs> apparently every year the bartenders get together and have a competition and the winner who makes the best drink is the drink of the year oh it's tasty and they were so incredibly nice. It's actually really fun, so I definitely recommend you guys come do this if you have time and are visiting Aruba. You can actually buy tickets right on Pelican Pier or probably at your hotel as well. We have finally made it to a restaurant called Z Rovers, um, which has been recommended to us by a few people here on the island, and the guys on the boat too said this place is awesome. So we're gonna make it just in time for sunset. Shrimp. Okay, sorry. Twist, twist the and shout. Oh. I was too eager. My boyfriend would be so proud of me. Okay, um, this isn't fun to me. I'm yeah. kind of a vegetarian, so not as traumatizing as I was expecting. Definitely very fresh, very delicious. Yeah, very I might fresh, stick so to the plantains for now. And we have just arrived back at our hotel. It is about 9 p.m. We are all very pooped. Um, today was a long day, but such an amazing day. So much fun. Um, if you guys want to go follow me on Instagram, you can check out the photos that we took today. Those should be up there by the time this vlog's up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog.